we have a conversation on public health uh, tonight following the confirmation of an MPOX case in the Greater Accra region and a spike in the number of cholera cases across the country. And this is one that we've been keeping an eye on quite closely and, and the concerns that have been raised as well um, on this particular issue. One more MPOX case has been recorded in the Greater Accra region, bringing the total number of cases in recent weeks to three. The Deputy Director of Public Health in charge of disease surveillance at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Dennis Lai, tells TV3 the identified contacts are currently being monitored. Take a look. We had the outbreak in Western Earth, uh, I think has been contained. There was one case confirmed in the Greater Accra region. The region has done their investigations. Um, so far, we haven't identified any new case, even amongst the contacts, but we're still following them up um, to determine if anybody develops symptoms. Oh. The case was confirmed last week. It's actually mild. The person is, is quite very well. And so um, that is, is, has been handled. But as I said, sometimes when um, you get these cases, you want to be double sure that there aren't others out there that we haven't picked. And so the region is working with the district um, concerned to make sure that um, they've been able to follow up all the contacts. Let's have a further, Professor Richmond Aite, a public health expert, is joining us from Geneva right now. Uh, thank you, Prof, for time here on Ghana Tonight. Now, uh, this latest case confirmed the Greater Accra region of MPOX. Looking at the demographics, the makeup of the Greater Accra region, busy, hustle and bustle, and considering the fact that this MPOX is transferable from one human to another, what should be the containment measures put in place? Well, for for this particular kind of uh, disease, the spread is from person to person and also uh, from animal to people. Uh, there are two main ways to, to deal with it. Person to person is that if you suspect somebody has the symptoms and essentially it's fever um, and uh, related conditions, headache, etc. And the way Ghanaians we usually do when somebody has those conditions, then what we do is try to do self-medication. We should we should avoid that. It helps protect us, but it also helps protect the next person. So if you suspect you have any condition, especially when such a finding has been made, the first thing you should do is seek health care because you may not know. And at the very beginning, when somebody has the virus, you would not know what it is, and it will not show physical signs, like the characteristic um, uh, effects that you sh it shows on the skin may not show until a few days after. And therefore, it is important to seek care and be careful about coming into contact with with those people and this is physical contact and sometimes even just being in the environment where where they are now that's what individuals me and you we can do there is the aspect of the public health services being heightened across the country where our health workers would then do contact tracing uh, I would want to assume that that is, by the way, um, if you look across the continent, we are not the only ones facing this, this challenge. We just need to do what it takes to protect our population so that it doesn't uh, begin to spread wildly. On our part, the, what we can do uh, are those that are, I have mentioned. Make sure that we are exercising appropriate hygiene as well. You know, we learned a very good habit during the COVID. COVID taught us to wash our hands frequently and also be careful about shaking everybody's hands. We've gone back and we are just uh, throwing all that caution away. 
I think that we should all be our brother's keeper and start protecting ourselves as best as we can and exercise those hygiene practices. It would help us, even in the absence of um, um, uh, this MPOX, it, 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 it can also help us prevent other diseases. Now, what I'm seeing also is that we are having cholera also breaking out. I mean, come on. In, in this day and age, a country like Ghana shouldn't be having that kind of challenge. And, uh, but again, it boils down to hygiene, environmental clean, cleanliness. In this day and age, we still have people who are defecating out uh, in places where they are not supposed to. True. Perhaps we are also facing the challenges of a difficult economic situation because people may be finding ways to ration water. And if you are rationing water, um, then you cut corners in terms of how you wash your hands, how you keep cleanliness, and, and all those things have to be part of the broader solution. approach to dealing with this, Prof. And uh, I, I do thank you, and you couldn't have diagnosed us any better than this, and the recommendations as well. The point that you make there spot on about the cholera outbreak, and as we saw there, the statistics that we put on the screen um, in terms of cholera, cholera has hit 17 districts, 1,600 suspected cases, 16 people have died so far as a result of uh, the, the cholera outbreak, 85th on admission as we speak. And certainly, as you put it, that should not be associated in this day and age of Ghana. But here we are, and we're dealing with it. Professor Richmond Aite is a professor of public health, nutrition at the University of Ghana School of Public Health, joining us from Geneva. Appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. But before we go, we're picking information that some individuals have invaded the Patahon town area within the Nyong South Forest Reserve in Takwan Shayam Municipal Assembly in the Western region. Now, information available suggests that they are protected powerfully by some built men, the well-built men with uh, four escape vehicles on standby. The pictures you see there, for the benefit of those watch, listening to us on radio, uh, you have excavators busily destroying uh, the forest, uh, with the other earth moving equipments as well, turning the forest cover upside down. And that is what we got from one of our viewers just some few minutes ago uh, in the said location. We're keeping an eye on this one. Stay with us here on Ghana tonight. Trust that we're getting to it. On behalf of the rest of the team, I want to say thank you so much for staying with us. Join the New Day team tomorrow morning under sunrise on 3FM 2.7 team as well tomorrow morning.